at a variety shop and oh my gosh like there is so much i just picked up nanny a christmas present it is extremely discounted they've got trees here it's like a local like mom and pop we found zelda wrapping paper If you hear Elf on the Shelf or kids giggling or laughing or anything in the background, it's because I'm entertaining my kids with the Elf on the Shelf movie right now so I can do this voiceover. This variety shop had a little bit of everything. It had some new stuff, but a lot of it was older stuff from the years past. They literally have a cactus tree. Look at this fella. When did you get so creepy? Look. How cute. They've got a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. They've got character ornaments. How much are these? Six dollars? I mean the prices are a little high, but I mean they're not like great great, but they're not terrible and they have a lot of stuff. So ten dollars for that. This is cute, like the girls' room. While I wasn't really impressed with the prices, $3 for this star, I mean, I could have probably bought that for the same price at Walmart. I noticed that a lot of the prices, like you see here, it said $10.99 on, or $10.98 on the actual piece of paper, and then their price was $7. So it was like ranging from a dollar to $5 off of each thing, which is, I mean, a discount is a discount. But because it wasn't a huge discount, I wasn't really just impressed with the process. But what I was impressed with was the amount of things they had the diversity in the things they had. They had a little bit of everything from rugs to vacuums, carpet cleaners, bedding. They even had a dehumidifier, a huge dehumidifier. And all of this, to my knowledge, is brand new, not used. It's just extra stuff. So I noticed with the bedding, I've seen this stuff before in stores, Target, Walmart. A lot of these brands are things that those places sell. But I noticed when we get over to the toys that the toys, I'm very informed when it comes to toys because I have so many kids. My kids keep me up to date on all the toys. I also keep an eye on new release toys every single year for Christmas. And I've been buying toys for the kiddos for forever. So I can identify older toys anywhere we, anywhere we go. And we definitely found the older toys from three to four years ago here in the toy section. I thought that $38 for this Santa was outrageous. Let me go see. I'm gonna go Google what the actual price for that Santa is. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. $38 is a pretty good discounted price for that Santa given the prices I felt on Google. So right now on sale at Kohl's, it is $54.39. It's originally $85 at Kohl's. You can also find this on places like Mercari and Poshmark from anywhere from $25 to $150. And actually on ebay it's 33 dollars right now for a used one so okay that was a pretty good discounted price you can see in aisles like this there's a little bit of everything so there's like tablecloths for birthday and there's like little birthday kind of decor and right beside it there's like shelf liner and there's 
craft stuff, tablecloths, all sorts of things down through here. And then you have little things like these electric scissors, which I was so tempted to get because they looked so cool. I don't know if that's a good price for that or not. I don't shop enough to know good prices. That's why I don't take you guys shopping very often because I can't tell you if I find a good deal or not. That Santa scooter was a prime example of that. I just don't shop enough. These were the dehumidifiers or the humidifiers that I was telling you guys about. I did not see a dehumidifier, but they had plenty of humidifiers. They also had a Roomba, which I've been wanting for a while. I'm just afraid I'm going to break it. Two hundred dollars is not uh, is not even possible for me. And this, nah, nah, nope, not possible. Honestly, there's so many companies in my emails right now that have like an off brand Roomba that have been like trying to work with me, and I would go and buy one of theirs before I spent that much money on a Roomba it might be worth it I don't know if you guys have Roombas let me know but that is a steep price that's it I mean that's half a mortgage didn't look like those pieces were sewed together like they were separate I don't know though but that's $350 plus $200 that's $550 that's literally half a mortgage these days like half of rent give me a broom and I'll sweep my floor and pay myself for cheaper than <laughs> that they had so many christmas ornaments and every color you could think of from like the pastel version of the colors to the bright version the neon colors all of them they had so many this aisle right here was the kind of furniture aisle so it had a lot of tables and stuff on one side and on the other side it had a lot of things like baby carriers and baby supplies $65 for this table. Like I said, I wasn't impressed with any of the prices. Uh, there's a diaper genie and a baby carrier. All that side, the left side was baby stuff, and all the right side was decor and luggage stuff. I didn't get a good price on the luggage, but Ross has really good prices for their luggage. Ross is where I get everything, but Ross is where I got all of our luggage and my kiddos gym bags for their extracurriculars. So I would definitely suggest going to Ross if you're in the market for luggage because you can find some really good luggage deals there. Not only was this building pretty large, it was huge, honestly. They had the Christmas stuff in one section, the decor stuff in one section, the bedding stuff in a section. It was all sectioned off. Their Christmas section was huge. I mean, they had anything you could think of. Now, $30 for this Ninja Turtle stocking looks really steep, but on Walmart.com right now, this exact thing was going for $109.99. It's because it has four holiday turtles in it. I was at first, when I picked it up, I was like, uh, $30 for this. Like, you could do this at the Dollar Tree. No, this is an actual, like, Super 7 reaction figure Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle holiday bundle. And it's really big for Ninja Turtle fans. So, it was $109.99 on Walmart. So, the $30 was a steal. That's oftentimes why I don't go to places like this. Because I said before, I don't shop enough to know what a deal is. I, even with groceries, I, I, I can't give you deals. I'm just not that kind of person that can see a deal and be like, oh, that's a good deal. Everything's just mush in my brain to me. So, I, I, I can't remember deals like other people's can. But people's. <laughs> other people's can. But what I can tell you is deals on toys. Because I do shop for toys a lot. So, so these toys, a lot of these were from last Christmas or the Christmas before. They had a lot of like kinetic sand stuff. They had Barbie. It was almost all of it was name brand toys. You had Ryan's World. You had things like this, which you can't find anywhere. Colton was so shocked to find this. It was a Dragon Ball like Z kind of playground platform thing and he was super excited about it shane also found a bunch of stuff shane was like a kid in a candy store in here he was finding stuff like crazy they had rainbow high dolls they had cr the little cry babies that were big three or four years ago you can see shane <laughs> they had a lot of things that were big years before so the kiddos were very familiar with a lot of the stuff and they have a lot of this stuff too but the prices on it they they were pretty okay toys wise these rainbow highs my girls have a lot of rainbow highs and they're still collecting rainbow highs that's the big thing for them right now they just love rainbow highs they love playing with them love watching the show on youtube all of that we know rainbow high prices and these were these are pretty good it was really hit and miss though i know with the barbie stuff it was it was hit and miss so some of this was really good deals and then some of it was about what you would pay for at somewhere like target or walmart
definitely plan to come by and swing by here more often just to see if they get anything new and how often they get new stuff. I like how it's kind of honestly like a one big giant Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I'm out on Black Friday. Who am I? Who am I? Look, how, look at these earrings though. I'm like, I feel a very 90s mom today. Yeah, I like it though. I like your uh, design. Can I show my dot? Oh my god, let's go. always make a beeline for the book section at Ollie's because so many of the books that I just randomly have picked up while browsing through Ollie's have been such good reads and some of the most favorite books I've ever read. So I'm always looking about for things that I might be interested in and there's a lot that I'm not interested in. There's a few that I'm just like, uh, <laughs> but oftentimes I can find them for $1.99, $2.99, $3.99, way cheaper than you would at the bookstore on Amazon and I just try them out. I haven't been getting many physical books here recently and I talk about that later on in this video when I show you guys the haul and stuff. I haven't been reading too many physical books but when I find one that's a pretty good deal and looks really interesting I go ahead and pick it up. I can often find some holiday-ish books for the kiddos and to put in like their Christmas Eve baskets or just to read throughout the season. My kids, I'm very careful how I say this because I know I may have little ears listening but I don't do a lot of the traditional Christmas things if you know what I mean like we have traditions that we do throughout Christmas and they're just very um I've customized a lot of traditions and stuff and then we add new traditions in you know yearly sometimes we add something new in and we try it out see if we like it and stuff like that our main focus of the season I know this makes a lot of people mad on here trust me I have been cussed out more on here for saying this than I have anything else on my daggone channel and I am one that just lets my mouth fly you would think I would make a lot of people more mad <laughs> I would make a lot of more people more mad by some of the other things I say but this takes the cake um because i'll be showing christmas festivities and i'll have people say oh, i thought you were a christian <laughs> it's like i know jesus is the reason for the season better than anybody does boy but but i think that we're allowed to have fun too and i i will go to my grave saying that and if i am wrong then me and jesus will have a conversation about it in heaven he'll take it up with me trust you me but as for down here, I think it's okay to have a little fun. We know who we serve. 
we know who created us. We know the creator of the universe. We know who was sent to earth to be a sacrifice for me. He died for me. He died for you. He died for them. We know all that. But I don't think he has a problem with us having fun. Now, you could say something different. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind if y'all even voice your, your different opinions in the comments. That's great. That's fine. That's what the comment section is there for. But don't cuss me out on Jesus' behalf. Then he won't just be taking it up with me in heaven. You'll be in line too. And I don't want that for you. <laughs>like uh, it hasn't been that long since you guys saw me, but I'm back. And let's get started. Here's our grocery haul. Uh, we did a pickup per usual like we always do. I will say that for the first time in a little bit, we were actually missing an item, which was paper towels. I've already gotten a hold of Walmart and everything, and they're already issuing us a refund. So they got that done pretty quickly and everything. Mishaps happen. It's fine. So we do have to go back out and get paper towels, but... I can at least show you the rest of it. So right here, we had to get some uh, doggy food for the doggos. Greeny got this big old pack of Iams puppy food. Uh, the the puppy food, I think she said that uh, Blue Jeans and Moon have to be on this until they're two. Um, but also, too, the smaller puppy food is easier on Binks and Tater since they got such little jowls. We got a thing of ice. I, I guess Rainy is missing ice until we can get... Uh, water hook up to the fridge. We're gonna have to do this. We got a big old pack of waters here along with a pack of the plastic white forks and spoons and a pack of aluminum foil. Now we'll make our way up here and we've got cream cheese, cream cheese spread, cottage cheese. I think somebody in this house likes cheese. We've got two things of crescent rolls here. I love these things. We've got sharp cheddar cheese spread with almonds. Again, somebody likes their cheese. We've got three packs of these buttermilk pancakes. I know this was a substitution. Uh, so I'm anxious to see what those taste like. Can't see this. We've got a thing of... I always say Tostinos, but it's actually Totinos. Totinos uh, pepperoni pizzas. These things are an amazing snack. We've got a pack of corn dogs. We've got three boxes of French toast sticks. We've got a bag of taters. Should I do it? I guess I should do it. Hashtag frozen tater nation. We've got three loaves of white bread here. Look at this guy. Got a big old roast. I'm telling you, as much as I love taters, I love roast as well. Maybe I should do a hashtag roast name. Nah, I think that's overplaying my hand. We've got some turkey breast, black forest ham, and hard salami. And let me tell you what, these make me excited because this means we are having TikTok sandwiches. And I'm telling you right now, if you have not had those yet, you seriously need to try them, they're amazing. I missed a few things over here. We got a little thing of blackened chicken Alfredo, the Zatarans. We've got three boxes of chicken pot pie. And then we've got three boxes of the deep dish pepperoni pizzas, which the kids really like these. We got us some new bowls, it looks like. Let's see what we got. 
three of these kind of like, are these black? Yeah, black bowls, and then we've got three of these itty bitty little kind of tealish. Is that, is that right? I don't know. I feel like whenever I say teal or blue, everybody else argues with me. No, everybody else is colorblind. We've got an entertainment cracker selection. So we're getting dinner party all up in here. We've got a 12 pack of Ritz crackers that come with the cheese. Some sociables. And a 12 pack of animal crackers, which I think Rena said for the Ritz and the animal crackers, we got these on rollback. We got a box of French Toast Crunch. And a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh wait, wait, nope, nope. These are Cinnamon Toast Crunch rolls. Interesting. We've got peanut butter chocolate puffs. We got a pack of sub rolls here, along with some, now I don't know how to say this, so if I say it wrong, I'm gonna say it's brioche. Is that brioche? Or am I just being too fancy and it's brioche? I'm gonna say brioche hamburger buns. Don't know what that means. We've got two packs of sourdough bread. Oh, actually we got another brioche hamburger buns pack here. We got regular hamburger buns. We've got a gallon of 2% milk. We've got some uh, grape soda along with some orange soda. Who loves orange soda? Kale loves orange soda. Is it true? I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. You know it, you love it, say it with me. Hashtag Tater Nation. We also got some red onions here, along with some yellow onions. We've got some iceberg lettuce, two bell peppers, a pack of baby carrots, not to be confused with the adult carrots, all just gravy. What you got there? All just gravy. Uh, we got a pack of cream of chicken. Um, these were substitutions. We got the beef broth, you know, in those like square jug-like things, but they didn't have them, so they got us or gave us the the canned ones. We've got some sliced pepperoncini. Rena got a brand new um, barbecue sauce. It's supposed to be sweet and smoky. I told her I'm on to her because it says Kansas City, and as anybody else knows, she's been obsessed with that football player romance with Taylor Swift. That's why I think we got it, but can't get her to admit that. We've got some sliced Havarti semi-soft. I, do, I don't know what that is. Interesting. We've got two of these. And then we've got um, sliced smoke flavored provolone along with sliced provolone. And that's it. That's the grocery haul. So there you have it. It was a little bit of a fast grocery haul. It feels kind of fast. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I just went too fast. If I went too fast, you know, feel free to say, Shane, slow down. We need longer time with you and I'll, I'll do my best. Anyway, I'm gonna turn it back over to Rini and I'll see y'all later. I got some stuff to show you guys, but I want to let you guys know my meal plan first because you guys, it's been a couple of days, but you guys have just seen the grocery haul. So for the meals this week, we are doing chicken and dumplings, which is super easy. We're doing a crock pot Mississippi roast, which is super easy. We're doing these really cool barbecue chicken grilled cheeses. We're doing uh, these really cool different style of Philly cheesesteak. We're also doing some grilled chicken and vegetables. And then we're also doing some spaghetti. So that's the lineup for this week meal wise. I went shopping on Black Friday and I did not buy a lot of Black Friday deals because let's be honest this year I don't think that they were deals at all. In fact I saw several things that were priced at the magnificent price of this whenever this was their price all year long and just didn't have a Black Friday sticker on it. So I didn't go get a bunch of presents on Black Friday. I did go and window shop a little bit, but I did not do no big shopping thing at all. I've been slowly gathering presents over the year for the kiddos and I just did an Amazon purchase for the last little bit. So here shortly, 
I'll have a what I got my kids for Christmas video go up. I like to preface those videos as these are not, oh wow, look how cool I am. Look, I am the best parent ever. I got my kid this. This is a, hey, I want to get this up in time in case you want a gift guide for kids that are similar to my kids' ages. It's not a bragging thing at all because there's nothing, that's nothing to brag about. Just because you can get your kids a certain amount of gifts doesn't mean anything. But I do try to do those what I got my kids for Christmas videos every year and then I preface them um, to make sure people know where I stand with that. I'm going to give you guys a haul of the stuff that I got at Ollie's. The stuff I got at that uh, pallet store sort of place. It's like a variety shop. And then the stuff I got at Ross. And then it's the stuff I got at Amazon. It's just a couple of things. At Ollie's I found this casserole recipe card collection. I have never owned one of these before and honestly I I was hesitant to get it because I was like well, I mean am I gonna use it like but I'm always on Pinterest if I'm on Pinterest I'm looking for a casserole recipe I'm usually not on Pinterest for anything else honestly because I don't know how to use Pinterest I feel like a granny when I get on there because I don't know how to use it Hold on, let me turn the fan off the only time I am on Pinterest is whenever I'm trying to find a casserole recipe so I I think I definitely think I'll get some use out of this it says casseroles recipe card collection and it has 72 recipe cards 28 blank cards for you to add your own recipes and five section dividers so when you open it up it looks like that how cool is that you have dividers for your breakfast casseroles your poultry casseroles your beef casseroles pork casseroles and meatless casseroles and then you have all of these cards so here are the blank ones that's what the blank ones look like that you can write your own recipes on and then for the other ones, like this one is a roasted pepper and sourdough brunch casserole. I don't think, I don't know if I was this, the targeted audience for this. <laughs> so it shows a picture on the front and names the recipe. And then on the back, it has all the ingredients and the steps you take to make it. Roasted pepper and sourdough brunch casserole. Okay. Huvis Rancheros casserole. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Um, mushroom and onion bake. Oh, I really don't think I was a targeted audience for this. Egg and sausage casserole. Oh, that's up my alley. Feta brunch bake. Blueberry orange french toast. Ooh, okay. Now that was banging. That was banging. Pizza casserole. Okay, maybe I was. Maybe I was. So they got... Uh, it looks like a nice mixture between healthy casseroles and non-healthy casseroles, which is what, you know, I aim for. I aim for a little bit of healthy and a um, whole lot of not healthy stuff. Um, I wish I wasn't that way, but I'm not going to pretend to be not that way in front of you guys because you can tell. <laughs> There's this taco salad. Now, that looks good. I don't know how that taco salad casserole, I don't know how that turns into a casserole, but... Here, I'm going to put this up here in case y'all want to screenshot this recipe because that looks pretty banging. I don't know how you turn that casserole into a salad, but I'm sure we'll find out. I'm excited to try these. Like I said, if I'm on Pinterest, I'm always trying to find casserole stuff. So I'm really excited to have this so that I can just pop it open. Maybe do a, ooh, what are we picking today? Let's see what I'm feeling. Let's make a Mexican lasagna. See? That looks banging. So I have a feeling I'll be pulling cards out of here a lot. And then I think using it will kind of get me out of my comfort zones when it comes to casseroles because the casseroles I tend to go for are the very starchy potato casseroles. Maybe that'll put me on to some more healthier casseroles that I can add into my meal rotation with the family. I got these two candles. It's the American Home by Yankee Candle Wild Blue Indigo. This smells really good. It smells like a raspberry dum-dum. Like those raspberry suckers. I got me one and I was like, you know what, Nanny loves scents like this right here. I'm going to grab her one. The flower on it makes me think of lavender. So I was almost put off by the picture alone because I don't like lavender. But it smells like straight up raspberry dum-dum. Perfect smell for spring. Perfect smell for Nanny all year round. Because Nanny loves citrusy, fruity type smells. She loves Hawaiian smells, all those things. So this kind of gives me that vibe. So I think she'll really like this one. I got this for... $8.99 a piece. So that'll definitely be a Christmas present that Nanny will know about because she watches these videos. <laughs> this casserole thing was $6.99. So this was $6.99. These candles were $8.99. 
I've been trying to find really budget friendly activities to do with the kiddos in this holiday season. While I would love to take my kids on huge Disney trips for Christmas and stuff like that, this is not feasible right now. And my kids seem to get a lot more joy out of the little things like activity books and stuff like that. They love that stuff. Nothing makes my kids happier than when I sit down with them in the living room floor or at the kitchen table and say let's do some crafts they're like oh you, you would think i would have given them a million dollars that's how they react to that stuff so when i find stuff like this that i can incorporate into the holiday season i go for it stuff like this board games that are reusable things like that that i can reuse numerous times throughout the holiday season that's what i reach for if you follow me over on instagram then you saw last year i did kind of a vlogmas over on instagram and for every day for like the 12 days leading up to christmas or the few days leading up to christmas it was 12 or 6. I can't remember how ambitious I was. Um, I shared what we kind of did for that day. Christmas Eve festivities. All those things. And a lot of those things had to do stuff with coloring. Um, Dollar Tree Christmas Eve bags. Christmas movies. Christmas board games. And just family time. We didn't go spend a fortune. Actually the only money we spent during those holidays. Aside from presents. Was a trip to uh, a, a local stadium here. To see Christmas lights. That was the only money we spent that holiday season, and my kids and I both agree, Shane agrees as well, it was the best holiday season we've ever had as a family. And it had nothing to do with what I bought them or how much money I spent. I've always been that way because I remember like having $20 left over to go to the Dollar Tree and pick out decorations. Because if you remember my time before YouTube, I, when I started YouTube, I had zero decorations. What little I might have had was from the Dollar Tree. So I kind of adopted the no spend festivities um back when i had no choice but to but i've kept that going even though my income has changed because that's what makes my kids happy i'm not about the i'm a buy your love kind of thing because if you love your kids the right way you don't have to buy their love from them it just comes naturally so i opt out for things like this that are affordable and fun and you can do them over and over again during the christmas season and it's quality time together so this one is a madeline activity book i used to love madeline as a kid i watched that show all of the time and my kids watch it they go back and re-watch it because they like the old <laughs> they make me feel ancient <laughs> they like the old shows and so this one i saw madeline and my kids noticed it right away and i was like all right we'll get some of those i also got this fetch book because blue jeans goes into training the beginning of january she's going to be doing a board and train kind of thing and i want to kind of work on some of the things with her ahead of time so she's not put back kind of like when you put your kid into preschool to get them set up for kindergarten i'm kind of doing a pre-train for blue jeans so she doesn't overwhelm the faculty there at that board and train <laughs> these were $1.99 and this was $2.99 i like this because it teaches you basic training like down things that moon pies training taught her teaches on the word no um rollover tricks and just like good behavior good manners this is fetched by national geographic kids it's targeted for kids but i got the brain of a four-year-old might as well i needed some new storage containers and i needed heavy duty ones not like the flimsy like ziploc con style um i got these for 6.99 and they're it's a 10 piece set and they've got different sizes they've got smaller ones and they've got larger ones and i loved the green these feel like they'll be fine as long as i don't dishwash them which i can't because i don't have a dishwasher right now so i think that they'll last a while i'm I'm very big on leftovers so I usually just put leftovers in a plate and put tin foil over it that's using a lot of tin foil it's also not ideal to store in the fridge that way because if it falls out you've got a mess on your hands these lock down and it's much easier to store containers like this on top of one another versus plates with aluminum foil and all that stuff so got me some of these for $6.99. My girls and I were in the homeschool section of Ollie's and I love going there because sometimes you can find really good stuff. You can find like kindergarten workbooks, first, fourth, fifth, ever grade kind of workbooks but I also like finding books like this I can use this as a teachable moment so whenever we're doing our freestyle work so we do freestyle work three days a week that's Monday Wednesday and Friday and what it is is we pick one thing to just free learn about it doesn't matter how we learn about it it's not even a part of their curriculum it's set apart from it but we can learn about rocks we can learn about weather uh, we can learn about windmills we did that we can learn about just a random object or a random person that we pick out to learn about that's how we do our free learning i thought getting this little leaders bold women in black history i thought that this would be a good teachable moment because we could come across a person in here like the first one is 
see here. The first one is Phyllis Wheatley. She's a poet. So we can read this and then do some more digging into who Phyllis Wheatley was. And we love doing stuff like that. We had another one where it was, I think, the presidents that we would read about one of them and then go do our own digging for three days out of the week. And by the end of the week, we knew a crap ton about that president. So that's what I thought we could do here. Just every now and then pick out a person. Maybe go to the next person. Harriet Tubman. People that my kids already know about, but maybe reading it here or doing extensive research about them will give us even more information about who these people were so i got this for 3.99 and i couldn't pass it up because I, I love stuff like this i picked up this book for me murder out of character i haven't been doing a lot of physical books lately i actually got to open a christmas gift from shane early and it was a daggone kindle <laughs> i was like yes because when you're mobile home living with a large family you don't have a lot of space for things that you might love books being one of those things so i never thought I would be one who read on a Kindle, but come to find out, I actually now prefer my Kindle over my physical copies. I actually am reading a book right now. It's called The Four Winds. It is so good, by the way. It's a book set in the Great Depression, and I have just been, like, devouring that book. Any opportunity, every single night that I get to read, I'll stay up a little bit later to read because, like, I'm that much into it. I haven't had a book do that in a long time, but I have this physical copy here and I bought this at McKay's. The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. And I started reading like here's where I stopped. I stopped on page 77 in the physical book, right? So I stopped on page 77 in the physical book, but I am 50% through it in the Kindle. I dropped the physical book, picked up my Kindle, got an ebook version of it and I had just been flying through that. It's easier for me to read at night. Because the lights are off, you know, I don't want bright lights on at night when I'm about to go to bed. So I've been turning my lights off, putting my Kindle on like night reader option, and just reading until I fall asleep. So I haven't been picking up a lot of physical books, but I saw this and I read the back of it. It was $2.99 and I thought it sounded really good. Usually if I see something like this, I'll look and see if uh, Kindle Unlimited has it for like a read for free or if Kindle Unlimited has it for like $1.99 or something like that. Um, just to keep my physical books to a minimum, but I went ahead and picked this up. Um, I also like them because I like the floppy ones. I don't like the stiff ones, and this one's very floppy. It's about a small-time librarian who finds a mysterious list of names, and then there's a bunch of stuff that, that are just not coincidences happen. I hear Tater and Binks. What? Binks and Tater was looking at the stink bug. Barking at the stink bug. <laughs> so it's about a librarian who finds a list of names and it's just like a wild ride from there. It's a mystery and I'm really excited about it. Why is the stink bug causing so much havoc? Do y'all have stink bugs? We have stink bugs everywhere, man. Binks and Tater have made it their sole mission. Blue Jeans could care less. Blue Jeans eats them if I'm not careful. Like she tries to eat ladybugs too and I'm like, no, because I heard that those are really dangerous for dogs. She just tries to eat stuff. Moon Pie could care less, but Binks and Tater have made it their sole mission in life to chase and terrify and tangalize every single bug they can come across in this house. So I, I got these toothbrushes for $3.99. Jolie was saying that she needed a new toothbrush. I thought I had extras in a basket, but apparently I didn't. And if they did, they, they get legs and walk up and walk away. I don't know what happens to all the toothbrushes and the socks. That's a forever question of mine. I got more that I can add into our extras basket for whenever our old ones get old. I found this puzzle pack for $5.99 and it's got all of these Elf on the Shelf puzzles. And I thought we could do those over and over again for the next month. Um, funny thing about this is I actually, I'll talk about it here in a minute. I'll talk about it here in a minute. Uh, but I got this, which is falls into that category of not spending an arm and a leg to do fun stuff with your family for the holidays. Doing stuff like this that you can redo over and over and over again is really fun. And then every time we go to Ollie's, Cameron eyes these. Oh my gosh, Cammy loves these. So they're $1.99 a piece and they're trading cards. That I don't even know if it's a game or what. But boy, they have his favorite characters. His superhero squad. He loves superhero squad. It's his favorite thing on the planet right now. So I got him an Iron Man one because he didn't have that one. I got him a Hulk one because he didn't have that one. And a Spider-Man one because he didn't have that one. And that's all I got from Ollie's on Black Friday. <laughs> now from Amazon, if I have little kid ears watching... Uh, mamas, I'm going to give you a few minutes to kind of turn off the TV because I don't want, you know, I don't, the next portion isn't for little babies. The next portion isn't for kids. So, mamas, go get them a little snack or something, goldfish to entertain them, and I'll be here waiting for when you come back to talk to you about something.
somebody decided to join our family. So this is the first year that he has came to our house. Out of all these years, he has never come to our house before. And he decided this year was the year because apparently my kids have been summoning him. <laughs> They have been talking about him all year long. So this is the first year that he is here. We're all really super excited about it. They don't know yet. I'm really super excited about it, but I'm also nervous because I don't want to mess it up. And this is a big commitment <laughs> to put myself in. It's a very big commitment. So I'm nervous, but I'm excited too. I also got these from Amazon which I messed up. They're too big, but I'm, I don't really want to take them back because I want to make sure I have Christmas pajamas for Christmas Eve. I got these in a size 5X because I thought it might be like, you know, whenever they say plus size, it's usually like two sizes smaller than that. So I thought I was probably getting a 3X when I ordered a 5X, but come to find out it's an actual 5X. And this shirt is really like, it's a hole. It's <laughs> But it's comfy, so, and it doesn't, like, as long as I keep my britches pinned, it doesn't fall down or nothing, so I'm going to keep them. But I got this. I'll link them down below. It's just a cat one. I can't find me any cool Disney character pajamas because nobody wants to make plus-size Disney character pajamas. Not actual plus-size Disney character pajamas, anyway. I got my family all Disney character pajamas, and I'm stuck wearing a cat and a Christmas tree. Keep them babies away for a minute. The second-hand store started the whole this thing because this one felt me there he ran up to me and he was like you're the one I've been looking for I, I was supposed to be at your house so my kids have already informed me they were there when we got this my kids have already informed me I cannot take him out of the package without gloves on um, because if you touch him without gloves on then he loses his Christmas spirit and he won't come back till next year so I have to be very careful on how I, how I handle him this is Grinzel the Grinch And this is tinsel. Grinsel tinsel. I think I said it was a second hand store. It's not a second hand store. It's like a palette variety store. Everything's brand new. I think everything's just from a palette. At that store I also got four of these. Um, one of them was it was like packaged wrong and it was like one of them and then they didn't have a clothes that was supposed to go with that one. It was the clothes for another one. So it might be like damaged products. I don't know. I wasn't really a fan of that store because the prices weren't really that great. But it was nice to go in there and look around somewhere new for once. These were $8. The customer service wasn't that great either. But they could have just been having a bad day too. So I'm not going to hold that against them. Sometimes you just come across people and they're just having bad days. And they can't help it. Sometimes it's their choice to be a turd. Sometimes it's not their choice. So I got four of these. And then that's all I got there. Minus a Christmas present for Nanny that I'm not going to show you guys. Because Nanny washes my channel she watches every single video i post and i don't want to ruin her on one of her bigger presents i don't mind ruining her on her candle i didn't mind that but on her bigger present i don't want to ruin her on that and then ross we've got friends coming over to build gingerbread houses with us in the next few days so i got some boxes of these oreo village houses because four village houses comes in a box so that's four houses that four kids can build they each get a, a house and i got two of these so there's eight houses in total i think that'll be plenty i hope so anyway if not uh, i may get some as backup these were 12.99 a piece so they were a little bit pricey like i said it's for a special occasion though because we do have friends coming over to do gingerbread houses with us i got these to go in stockings they were 3.99 and there's four of them I got dingle bells on them. I got some slime for a uh, stocking. This was $3.99. My girls have been getting into makeup. They like doing each other's makeup and like for me to do their makeup. So I got them these to put in their stockings. Look how cute these are. A cinnamon toast crunch one and a fruit loop one. These were these were $3.99 a piece. I found this in the craft section for $2.99. So we'll be able to do quite a bit of ornaments out of that if we get creative. Stocking stuffer for Cammy because he loves these so much. He can't walk through a line at Ross without getting these or pointing at them and asking for them. Three nineteen. I also got on these he don't know about, um, but these were two ninety nine. He loves Peppa Pig. There's apple, blackberry, orange, pineapple, strawberry, and lemon. I already took one of these out for the girls because we've been sick if you can't tell. Like I've been, I've not felt good at all the past two days. The girls' lips were getting super chapped because they weren't feeling good either. And I got them chapstick, but one of them lost theirs. So I had to take one out of here to give it to them. I gave them a, um, what was it? 
a spearmint one or something like that. I can't remember. Wintergreen or something like that. But I have these to go in their stockings. It was $3.99 and there's Wasper, Bubblegum, Twizzlers, Reese's, York, Hershey's, and Twizzlers. The girls love stuff like that, but Colton does too. He's going to get a Whopper one because Whopper's his favorite. I also found these little LA Colors. They're scented lip oils, and I thought I could put those in the girls' uh, stockings too. $3.99. And then I got two packs of these, like, bubbled up. Look how cute they are. They're, they're bubbled up. They're not, like, flat. They got dimension to them. I got two packs of these. They were $2.99. This one has 48, and this one has 48. So I got quite a bit of these. I shouldn't need any more for presents. I definitely won't need any more. Oh, and I forgot to show you. So you probably see my nails. Hold on. How pretty. I love them. I didn't mean for them to be glittery. I just had never done a dip kit before. I got this dip kit for a really good price considering it's a dip kit off of Amazon. And let me tell you, this was so fun to do. I thought I just knew for sure I was going to mess it up. But I didn't. It's got like an activator. It even comes with like a little brush. And it comes with all these colors of dip. That's like, like what you dip your finger into. It comes with all these colors like metallics, glitters, transparents, solids. So many different colors. I decided to go with like a baby pink. I didn't know it was baby pink. I thought it was more of like a light mauve. But then I was going to put like white white over top of that but it turns out the white was glitter so i've got glitter over top of pink right now but it gives me like a snowy vibe a frosted sugar cookie vibe i don't know i'm liking it i got that from amazon i forgot to show you that's the brand is azure azure beauty that's what i got i did not get any big black friday deals because honestly to me they were no deals <laughs> and over the year i'd already found a lot of the things that i was gonna get people anyway so i kind of did it periodically so that I could afford it that way and not have to come up with a big sum of money for a big shopping trip. You could do it as you get extra money and that's how I like doing it. I will be getting the what I got my kids for Christmas video up soon. I got to confiscate my kiddos tablets and YouTube apps and everything like that to make sure they don't see it. They do watch my videos and they do watch a lot of their own stuff too. So they're watching YouTube a little bit during the day and I don't want to spoil them on anything. So I'm going to confiscate their tablets for the season and then I'll post that video shortly thank y'all for hanging out with me i hope you'll have a blessed morning even not whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more i'll see y'all later